I actually think that we live in exceptional times and, and an exceptional place for uh, doing these things, underwater photography. Um, the people before us would have found um, an ocean that was probably filled with really lots of iconic marine life, but they would have probably not appreciated as much as we do. For them, that was they, they took it, uh, they took a lot of it for granted, and they didn't have the. For them to photograph it was not easy. Um, getting underwater cameras uh, was really difficult, and uh, they were expensive. And digital photography obviously didn't exist until a few years ago. And the people that will come after us. Um, will have a hard time doing the same things that we do because a lot of the stuff that we can still find will be gone, um, especially iconic stuff. This is a photo that uh, we took on a trip in um, Sri Lanka earlier this year. So um, the things that are like the, the big oceanic animals, a lot of them are just killed for stupid reasons. For instance, here you see a mobile array. People um, catch them just to take the gills out and they use them for so-called medical purposes. The same goes for the fins of sharks. Um, and um, if you take, talk to a lot of people that care about these animals, they will tell you that it's a really dire situation and that a lot of it is um, uh, irreversible and, and, and gone for good. <laughs> On the other end, um, I also talk to um, a lot of people that do the hunting, that, do, that are fishermen or commercials, and they tell me a completely different picture. They tell me, if you go out there, the ocean is, is full of, at this stage, full of cool animals, and sometimes when you talk to them, you get the impression you could walk on the backs of certain species all the way to South America because the ocean is full. I think the truth is somewhere in between. Mm. Either way, right now, you still have a good chance to go out there, take a camera that you can buy off the shelf, and um, ex have the time of your life. And the third point that I really want to uh, bring across is I know that Kiwis are really proud of the endemic wildlife. And I don't know, um, I think most of the stuff you find here on land is a bit embarrassing. But if you actually um, look in the ocean, there are some really, really, really cool animals out here. You, um, if you think of blue whales, they're the biggest animals that have ever lived. We have them here. Sperm whales, biggest predator, killer whales, um, the great white shark. All these things you can, with a little bit of effort, find here in New Zealand and actually um, experience. New Zealand is not known for its diving, but I think it's exceptional. And uh, you, um, you would not regret um, heading out to some of the outer Gulf Islands and doing some diving. I'll just show you some of my pictures that you... And these are not um, things that you would... that are hard to find. You would basically, on every dive, um, see an eagle ray, or octopuses, fish. And when we're talking about diving, um, I'm no longer talking about scuba diving. I mean snorkeling. Uh, all I, um, I, I am a certified diver, but I find it's um, for the things that I want to do, it's the best thing you can do is just to take a mask, fins, and snorkel, and um, head out into the open ocean, and, um, and, and dive really shallow. So despite being in really deep water, you will find that most life that is iconic, that interests you, will be in the top layer of the water. So you actually don't have to dive down to see interesting marine life. I think photography is just another form of hunting that just leaves the fish alive in the end. And I think um, a lot of people that enjoy hunting fish with a line or with a spear gun would also enjoy using a camera. So if, if you get these two communities of people together, the photographers and the hunters, I think you can create a new community of people that really um, 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 would create a new um, sport or a new uh, um, environment that, that everyone can just benefit from. The fact that you need to get really close to your object to get a good photo, and the fact that you want to ideally take photos of really big animals mandates that you need a wide angle lens. Uh, and the other thing, even Sometimes it's a problem because you can't get as close to the animal as you would like to. Uh, here you see a couple of uh, pilot whales. But what I like about having a really wide angle lens is the wild field of view also adds a lot of context to your pictures. Um, you will have the w a lot of the water or the reef in your background. And, part of the, and one of the beauties of blue water uh, hunting or blue water photography is that I find that that water itself is almost a subject in itself. It makes for these really nice reflections and these nice colors. One mistake that people do is they think you need to dive deep to see 
um, cool uh, marine animals, but it's the opposite. I find the, the shallower you stay, the more you will see, and the better your pictures will look. That's for a very simple fact. Uh, as you go down, you lose colors. And if you don't want to use them, you, uh, if you don't want to lose them, your, your only ch ch uh, chance are either you stay shallow or you, you, um, you, you take some artificial lightning w uh, with you, which opens another can of worms. Uh, this photo was probably taken in one or two meters of water. That, that is, again, another bonus of, the, um, uh, of a fisheye lens or a wide-angle lens. A wide-angle lens will always zoom out or it makes things look fur appear further away and you get these dramatic effects. But it's actually a picture taken at, right at the surface, only one or two meters deep. Another game changer in the field of photography is shooting in raw format. Having the ability to store your images uh, the way they were recorded on the, on the sensor gives you the, um, the ability to, um, uh, to do a color correction once you, once you get back home um, on your computer. And by just white balancing it properly, that means selecting one area of the fish that is in reality white but doesn't show it up as white because it is tinted by the blue of the water, you will get something like this. This is one click on a computer and you see how dramatic the changes are. So I think um, if you want to choose your camera for underwater photography, it's absolutely critical that you get one that can uh, sh uh, record images in RAW. If you have a dream of swimming or seeing a certain animal that lives in the ocean, don't let people discourage you and in, 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 in let them think, uh, get you to think that you can't, those, uh, those animals don't exist anymore, you can't, um, you can't get them on camera. There will be always a place where we, you will find it. Um, and it could in fact be um, your favorite animal that is somewhere and then somebody else in another part of the world might take it for granted and doesn't even realize um, the, the, the value it holds to other people.